Hello again guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the fourth tutorial of uh, many still. Uh, today we're going to be filling a, a request for a script. This one here was requested by uh, Malignant Toe, at least I think that's that's uh, an interesting name, but uh, this one here is for you. Um, thank you for requesting, and again, if you if anyone else out there has any requests, we'll uh, be happy to cover those through these. I think that uh, there's a couple of things that are actually good to uh, get out of request because you guys can see how things have to be implemented in the current code, and it just really exercising and doing these things actually gets you through uh, quite a bit. So um, the purpose of this script uh, requested is that when a character changes their equipment that that equipment should change their class. So they can go in and change from a sword to a staff or a staff to a wand and their class would change from a warrior to a fighter, from a fighter to a magician or you know I mean any anything in that respect so we're gonna go through we're going to have to define a number of different things um, this here is probably gonna be a two episode um, we'll go ahead and we'll get them both posted but there will be probably be a part one and a part two of this but um, what we're gonna do is first things first we're gonna actually come back here to our old code and we're gonna comment it out so one very useful thing is the ability to disable and enable scripts. Now we're going to disable this very first script that we did. Uh, the first script being that um, we would create this class and we'd print some information to the screen. And what I'm doing here is I'm commenting out these lines of code by using a equal begin and an equal end. Now what this does, if I put it um, around the beginning and the very end of an item, it will comment out everything between those. So if um, you have a multiple section script, so over here we've got five different sections, you'll need to do this to each section and then just add this equal begin, which by the way has to be at the very beginning of the line because if you see if it's not at the very beginning of the line, at least in uh, VX it shows you this, in XP it doesn't, but um, as it's at the beginning of the line you see everything's green which means that it's commented out and if I add a space or anything here then it bumps it over where it's not at the beginning of the line then obviously it uh, it uh, does not mean the same thing so we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at the beginning so that uh, you can see that that code is commented out we're gonna save that so let's think about this here we need to make it so that when you change a class that the, the class or I'm sorry that the weapon when you change a weapon in the equipment scene, then it's going to actually change your class. So there's a number of things we need to take into consideration here. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and just call this class change system, just because. Um, and so where we need to start is we need to define how we tell what weapon determines what class. Now I'm a big fan of modules. Module is a uh, basically a class that can be accessed from anywhere um, and you can actually create methods and so on and then um, within your other classes you can say that you want to include it and it will include its methods and its its uh, variables and so on within that class. Um, so it's kind of like it's kind of like a template, or it, or better yet, it's more like an add-in. So you can request things from it individually, but you can also add it into a, another class and therefore have all of its functionality within that class as well directly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and call this um, equip class. All right, and then what we need to do is we need to define a couple of methods. Um, actually, probably not methods. We're going to probably define some constants. So we're going to go ahead and define a constant, and we're going to call this weapon to class. Okay, so we are going to make this a hash. Now, a hash is a type of um, it's a type of array, so to speak, that you can give it a ID or so on in order to say you know what what its value should end up being so we're gonna say value to class and we're gonna specify the ID number of the weapon 
So we'll just put a 1 here, and then we're going to say that this is going to translate to the class in which we want to convert to. So I'm just going to put a 3. Now these are just random numbers I'm sort of making up as we go here. Um, this is completely unrehearsed as well, so I'm sorry if uh, I, I take the wrong ways about this or, or whatever. But um, So we've got our, our module here, and we've got our constant with a value within it saying that for weapon ID 1 that we are going to change to class ID 3. So we need to give an explanation of this here, so it's usually good to go ahead and add a comment. So we go ahead and say, you know, uh, weapon to class comment, weapon ID 2 and then that is going to be equal to class ID. All right, so now we know that when we equip weapon number one, that it's going to change our class to class number three. So now we need to actually change the equip scene to change our class. So let's go find the equip scene. So here we've got the equip scene, and here we know that our equip windows and so on. Let's see here. We need to find out, because I don't think it's actually part of that. It's part of the scene here where we say, equip an item. Let's see here. Update equip. Alright, here's our equip selection. So, under a cancel, then we'll go to the previous scene. If a right input, then we'll go to the next actor, otherwise the left actor, whether or not they've got a fixed equipment. And let's see here. So this here just sets us into the next section, which is here. If you cancel, then return to the previous window, and here we say change equip. So the change equip is the method we're looking for. So because this here is the one that's going to actually be performed on the actor. So let's go find change equip. It's actually part of the actor, and the actor is part of game actor. So let's find change equip. And it wasn't change equip by ID, it was just change equip. So here we've got equip type, and it's got our uh, notations and so on up here. We know what item it is and whether or not you can equip it, I think, is what that one is. So we're going to go ahead and say, well, when we equip a weapon, okay? So rather than modifying this original script, because we want to maintain compatibility with other scripts and so on that are likely to be coming down, we are going to alias this method. Alias is uh, kind of a method of just saying rename it. Okay, So let's go ahead and we're going to copy this and we're going to move it down here to our class change system. Okay, Now we knew that this here was part of class game actor which is less than game battler. Alright, so now that we've got that copied, we're going to go ahead and create the alias. Now the alias, again, is just the rename method. So we're going to keep it by the same name. So basically, if that wasn't there, then this would just be renaming it. But because we need to maintain backwards compatibility with other scripts, and even the default scripts, we have to keep it by the same name. Otherwise, they'll all crash. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this change equip actor and then we'll go ahead and throw the name of the script in it just because that uh, it helps uh, you know in, in the ability there so that we know that uh, this change actually came from this script um, it, it just generally helps out um, but uh, so what we're saying here is I want to give a class or a I'm sorry a method this name and this is the one I want to change. So we're saying I want to change equip to change equip actor equip class. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this down here and I'm going to say do what you always used to do. Okay. So do equip type item and test and we don't actually need to include the test equals false because that has already set it up here so otherwise we'd always be canceling it out. And so we are going to get the result status from that because our previous one here, when we actually go back and look at it, 
back in game actor. And here it would return, I assume. Let's see. Where would it return? It wouldn't return in. Oh, there it is. Return. So the only time it would return, and it always seems to return nil. So we don't ne actually need to worry about the result. So we'll go back and clear that since we don't need that. All right, so since it doesn't actually return anything, then we don't need to return anything back with it. So we, what this has done now is this has allowed us to rename the method, but it hasn't changed at all. So this here calls the old method. Um, and now that we've got it calling the old method, then technically speaking, we can add to it before or after. So here's our before. We can make any changes to it before that happens to interrupt that process, or likewise, we can do anything after. In our case, we're going to do it after. So let's go back up here and look at the game actor. And we're going to run a case on the equip type. And we're going to go off of weapon as well. So let's go back down to ours going to paste the code in. Okay, so we're saying if it's a weapon, then let's go ahead and define this new weapon. Okay, so this is, this class here has already gone through and equipped it. So now we need to say, all right, well, based on the current weapon that I have equipped, which we actually have available to us here, is we can then actually go back and assign it um, to look back here at our equip class and determine what type of weapon it really, I'm sorry, what class you should end up being. So the item being the weapon or armor, we can say item.id and then we'll pass that to our weapon class like that. And because it's a module, we can do it like this. So that because this here is a module call, so we say put the module name, colon, colon, and then the name of the constant. Um, now we can actually also um, come up here and do a include. Where is it? Pound include? I can't remember. Uh, but it's. I think it's just include, and then you put the name of the. Um, of the module. I'll have to double check on that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's all it is. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and clear that for now. Um, but um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say pass this to equip class, weapon to class, and we're going to pass it this here so we can get the ID of the class. So we're going to say class ID equals that. Now class ID here being the class ID that we're going to assign. Now, because we have not defined every weapon up here, we can't assume that class ID is going to be something. So we're going to actually type in if class ID not equal to nil, indicating that it's not nothing, then we have to, um, then here is where we actually change the class. So let's just go back and verify that there is no me other method in which to change the class since I'm not really sure I haven't actually checked into this so I think all we have to do is just change the class ID so here we've got our class ID and it's a reader so I'm betting that there is no no oh, here we go class ID equals and it will automatically go through and remove your other equipment if you can't hold it so Let's go back then and say class ID equals, and then we'll specify the class ID. So we'll put class ID equals, and that is actually for the actor. So in this case, it's actually self. So we'll say self dot class ID equals class ID. Now class ID here being the local variable we created right here, and this one here actually being a method for the game actor class. Okay, so that should actually handle it as far as changing the class. So now we need to go back and say, all right, well, what about my equip, I'm sorry, not about my equipment, but what about my 
skills. Um, how do I reset those? And actually, it looks like we're out of time for right now, so I'm going to actually just restart this, and we'll keep on going with part two.